Hey everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back from the video of Age of History 2. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and expanded quite a lot. Uh, we're almost down to having pretty much ent the entirety of Mexico in, in its prime, almost. If we have this, this is basically going to be Mexico in its prime. Um, but right here, our Aztec Empire is doing very well. Uh, unlike the Roman Empire, which is kind of in a stalemate with Odrysia, the Alemni, and the... Uh, who is that? The Frankians? Yeah, the French, basically. So there's a lot of, like, um, a big stalemate going on between this war. And there's another stalemate, kind of. Well, not really, actually. I kind of think that um, the Mongolians are actually winning this war against the uh, the Chinese here. I got a feeling, at least, because they pushed way further than the Han Dynasty. Uh, did into their own territories. I don't know, boys. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Uh, all I'm uh, I'm just excited to see um, what's uh, next, right, for our empire right here. We're just gonna go ahead straight up and colonize uh, this place. We're gonna colonize it and get the same thing as usual. Get a port right here, a library, and a supply camp, obviously. So we're gonna obviously get all of this and get the armory as well. And um, next up, we are obviously going to get some soldiers in here as well. So that is all good and uh, done for. The, the next thing really is to just keep uh, skipping a next turn. We didn't really have anything uh, else going on. We got uh, 0.7 or 0.8 that we gained per turn uh, right here. About that approximative. Uh, so not a lot that we gained, but uh, just enough so we can make some difference happen. We still can't invade anymore. I think... Uh, invading t uh, neutral territories is part of being a tribal nation. That's the main uh, good thing, the positive thing about uh, being a, a tribal nation is you can invade uh, neutral places. But since I'm not a tribal nation anymore and I'm a monarchy now, I'm actually civilized. I can't do that anymore. I actually got to pay money in order to um, or spend points and stuff in order to actually go somewhere, right? Do uh, Do some stuff. So Let's go keep going at 75%. I did forget. Uh, I hope I didn't forget about doing that the first time around. Let's keep skipping turns, boys. Okay, we're going to do that again. 75. All right, good. So now we got uh, enough points for another territory. Uh, we're just going to keep expanding right here. Okay. Oh, I almost pressed the wrong thing right here. I don't want to colonize uh, um, the wrong thing right here. All right, so yeah, we got um, the, the Lapez right here. We got that. Which means we're going to be able to get the port, libraries, armory, and supply camps right here. And we're going to get some soldiers in there as well, uh, guarding the coasts. So, uh, that is basically that. So, now we got all of this. We're, we're well protected, boys. We don't even need to go to war with anybody just yet. Uh, it's basically going to be the same thing as last time. We are going to wait it out until we actually have uh, border gore with somebody. In order to declare war, right? Because uh, be before that, we're not going to do anything. Uh, we do have a new technology point. What do we want to go for? I think we should go for income and taxation because we haven't got f uh, we we didn't go for that just yet. We are already in the year two hundred and twenty-six. It's been two hundred years, boys, that um, the that it uh, has passed on. So that's really good. I mean, it's going super fast. Now, one thing that is missing from this game, though is the aging or not the aging but the way the civilizations work you you see we don't change the the leader the leader the, the leaders don't change or anything it's always going to be the same picture uh so that's kind of the disappointing part of the game i guess but it is a very sandboxy type of game you can't really expect too much i don't want to have any spoilers here about the world but you can't really expect too much to happen right uh, in terms of leadership it's not it, the game wasn't made for that it was made mostly to just do uh conquering stuff territories and all and uncovering the world as it as it was during the t that time so we're gonna expand on the south right here with the points we have just expand the south get some soldiers and also while we're at it uh, we're gonna obviously get a farm right here Get a library, armory, and supply camp. There we go. Just like that, boys. And uh, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Uh, every turn, boys. We don't have too much going on. I mean, it's just the basic, really, at this point. Uh, I'm just waiting to every turn to get um, as many 
of uh, the m good amount of points to uh, can actually you know colonize places and stuff so uh, these guys just moved up to tile which is really good or region so i'm going to be able to just expand i'm going to keep uh, for now my focus on the south i think i want to expand on the south more than anything else so i'm gonna i'm gonna go here because i do want uh, as many ports as possible so we're gonna go uh there and we're also gonna do ports farms and everything so port farms library armories uh, supply camps all the good stuff boys uh, we got um this army doesn't uh bother anybody anymore border anybody so just gonna um, give it uh to the ports right here in uh Giuda del uh, carmen i can't speak Ch uh, spanish very well boys i'm not uh, i'm not good at it at all so um we are gonna keep it moving uh, 118 turns and two more turns we're going to be able to look at the world and what it looks like maybe the romans uh, took back some territories i'm not sure um, we don't have anything else going on right here in this turn let's keep it moving there we go one more turn boys so 75 of research we've got to keep this going right here all right so now we moved up in the south uh, I'm gonna go north south north south basically every time we did we went south last time So now we're gonna go north. I'm gonna expand right here. I'm gonna take uh, Victoria Victoria is gonna be ours boys. So let's take that and uh, Take all the good stuff that comes with it the ports and everything. All right, so we got the ports and everything uh, That's gonna be a, a really good place for us eventually so you can tell now we're going into uh, uh, United States territory Houston all of this this is still uh, basically former uh, New Mexico and stuff like that right so this is basically what it's all about so um, uh, the, the, you can tell by the names of uh, the regions the cities and stuff but over here it's clearly United States it was definitely made by um, oh well over here you can tell it was made by the over here you can tell right here it was uh, settled by the French for sure and then uh, as you go along right here, you're going to see a lot of uh, English name and stuff like that. But uh, let's skip. Uh, let's keep it going, boys. We're going to be in turn 120 right here. So we're going to be able to take a look at the world really quick. What it looks like, what kind of changes happen, stuff like that. Let's uh, use our points for income taxation. There we go. And let's take a look at the world. So obviously, like always, in the actual americas there's not gonna be anything happening it's just a bunch of tribal nations so nothing happening on that side but over here in europe um interesting stuff going on it's really it really is a stalemate because rome is like pushing back kind of it's like winning the war i think rome is winning the war big time against the alamni and the frankians uh it doesn't help that the frankians are at war with a bunch of people at the same time right here they're, it's kind of battle royale going on right here. I don't know who's going to win it. Uh, very interesting. Audrija did push back Rome from their territories though. But they are at the same time at war with Dacia. It seems like they have a civil war going on themselves. So you know there's a lot of stuff going on right here. Uh, I don't know if uh, Audrija is going to be able to become like Turkey or something. And become an actual empire. Like a Byzantine empire probably. Could be right. Um, the Aranea is kind of doing all right for themselves they're doing pretty good the sarmatians don't do anything uh, really swedes geats right the the vikings they're kind of staying put on their side uh no british uh empire or anything getting um created just yet uh, this uh persian empire right here is doing very well and uh, we've got i guess the Han getting really pushed back now by the uh, mongolians yeah i think the mongolians are definitely going to win that war uh, in no time there are, uh, and that's going to be interesting mongolian horde going by boys uh very early on earlier than expected that's for sure so uh let's keep a move on right here we're gonna skip to the next turn you're definitely gonna hear my dog in the back because he's being super annoying right now he's just it's just one of those mornings when he decides to do uh his own thing and not listen to anybody and just cry out uh in everybody's ears so that's how he is, I guess. Uh, we've got uh, Merida. So we just, we're just going to settle there. We're going to get a farm, ports, and everything. Uh, this place was already settled before by uh, for, for a small time by one of these guys. I think these guys right here, which are the Xiu. 
but uh, they don't need they don't need this place anymore. So we're taking it. Let's keep it moving, boys. Skip turn by turn is going very fast. Obviously, we're going. Well, actually, it's, it's moving slower now, right? We went past the 200 years very fast, but now you're gonna see the years are gonna actually come by a little bit slower. We uh, have some places to assimilate it, excite. So I'm just gonna do it really quick. And that took all of our points, so we're just gonna keep it uh, keep a move on. I skipped a turn by myself. You didn't. Uh, you guys didn't miss much. Uh, same old, same old. Really, nothing happening. This is gonna be a lot of transition, mostly when nothing happens, right? And I don't have. I'm not gaining enough points right now. I'm really not. I just wish I could gain a lot more points. That would be very fun for me. Uh, I'm gonna get this right here. Colonize the steeps right here. And uh, why not get some soldiers? Every time I colonize a place, I get some free soldiers. I'm gonna get myself some free soldiers. Armory and supply camps, of course, always. This doesn't seem like there's any farms I can build over here, so that's fine. Um, let's keep a move on right here. We don't have anything else going on. I'm gaining enough now, so I can actually every two turns at least um, do something. My dog is super annoying. Let's keep a move on right here, and we got uh, get to a second turn or year. Uh, turn 20, 126 right here. Let's get to 75%. I, I would hope that we get we could get more investments, but it's just not working right now. Our investments, investments are bringing us down in terms of uh, technologies, right? We can't spend uh, as much in technologies because of the investments. But right now, I guess we're just going to expand right here in the forests. We're going to take, uh, what is this city? I can't even say that name. I don't even know what that means, boys. That's that that is not I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Alright, let's get some recruits right here. There we go, just like that. And we are gonna because we got some soldiers, I already sent them okay over there. Yeah. So let's uh, keep skipping turns. We got uh, a bonus point right here. Let's uh, get it into uh, tax uh, income, I income taxation, investments. We're gonna do that. And uh, I don't have anything. Uh, next turn there we go just like that research again 75% same old same old boys uh, We went to the south last time am I actually I need to move these guys up. No uh, Actually not because they are bordering with uh, a nation uh, so we can keep them there um, I'm gonna expand on the north now The thing is I want to get ports right I want to get the entire ports and stuff, but I also want to secure this Secure this line right here. So I'm just gonna keep Expanding right here like this. I'm gonna keep doing that boys because I need to Expand on the north uh, like this right here. So libraries very important the libraries are just gonna help me out boys with the Technologies, that's all they do. They just help me out uh, right away with the technologies. It's uh, Definitely helpful uh, uh, quite a lot. So we're gonna uh, skip to the next turn again because there's nothing happening All right next turn year uh, turn 130 boys um, some wars are happening as you can see right here. I need to get the investments to get in there. There we go So yeah, some some wars are going on the Swedes are at war with uh, Pomerania I think uh, I'm not sure what that is Ma um, Magada and Suma are at war. I think that's either in Africa or probably in India or something We're gonna expand uh, south now. We're gonna uh, go here expand in this city in Chikama we're gonna get uh, a farm, of course, library, armory, and supply camps. We're gonna get that. And we're gonna recruit some people right here. It's bordering too, so it's perfectly fine. I'm not boring anybody here, so I'm gonna have to send back this unit over one of these ports. Okay, so that's it. Let's take a look at the world, boys. We are 130. Anything happening? Nothing over here, of course. Nothing uh, interesting in the Americas. In the world, what's uh, what about the worlds? Okay, lots of stuff happening. These guys are still at war with each other. Gascony is actually uh, controlling most of Iberia now. It's kind of half half. Uh, there's still some French in Iberia, but not for long. I think the French are mostly going to be beat up, boys, and get defeated altogether. The Aramini, which are uh, the ancestors of the Germans, mostly. Along with the Swebi and the, uh, I, I'm not sure, Longbirds and the Marconi, Marcomini as well. Uh, there's the Vandals right here, uh, which are mostly Russians, mostly, uh, as we know it. Uh, the Swedes are at war with somebody, but I, I'm not sure who it is. At war with somebody, but uh, we can't really tell. 
so there's a lot of stuff going on. It's like a battle royale, but at least it looks a little bit cleaner than it did uh, 10 turns ago. So it's starting to look a bit cleaner, boys. At least there's that, right? The borders are cleaning up a little bit. Uh, still a big war going on. The Yans are going to fall maybe in 20 turns or something. They could uh, very well fall, boys. Long ass wars, though, that's for sure. All right, let's keep a move on. There's no really colonization anywhere in uh, Africa. No, no colonization. The Moors right here, as you can see, uh, are eventually going to become the Moroccans. So um, I I'm interested who's going to take care of these guys. Is the Romans are going to actually declare war on them? I'm not sure because they're so focused right now. They're winning. They're winning right here. They're expanding back, you know. Are they still uh, like... um? A monarchy, they still are, so they still consider themselves as the empire, but not sure how much of an empire they really are. Let's keep a move on, I guess, boys. There we go. Next turn right here. I can't, ex I can't zoom out. I don't like the zoom out system in this game, though. It, it is kind of annoying. It doesn't work properly. Uh, I'm actually going to send it over here. He needs more soldiers over there than, than in Victoria. Uh, we got nothing going on in this turn. Let's just get the focus on the technology really quick and there we go so we skip to the next turn right there we're gonna get the focus really quick always the first thing i do the research boys so now we spent it in uh south i believe last time right did we i think we did so we can go into the north right here one of the tribal nations that was right there just went up north or something it completely disappeared boys just went up north completely all right well, uh, I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm just gonna take uh, this place right here, uh, Pedras uh, Pedras Negras or something like that, boys. So um, all right, so that's uh, that's the one right here. Uh, armory supply camp. We're gonna get that, and uh, we're gonna get some soldiers to, to go along with that. We're gonna skip a turn again. We got some a new technology point, 75%. Get a technology point. Get to income taxation. Get that uh, army to go over there. We're going to give them to uh, Reynolds right here. Skip another turn just like that. It's mostly uh, us just colonizing um, over and over again uh, right here. So now that we got that going for us. And then we've got uh, one of the wonders of the world right here. The Inca uh, pyramids boys. So there it is. That's our imp that is our pyramids after all. So that's perfect boys. This should be our capital as well. There's the, the, the Chichen Itza boys, the itself. That's really good. Should probably be our capital though, because if it is like the Chichen Itza, that should definitely be our capital eventually. I'm not sure if I want to, well, can I actually name it as my capital? I, I'm not sure how like naming switching capitals works in this game, boys. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure entirely. There we go. I'm having a tough time zooming in and stuff. I don't know why boys. All right, so uh, let's skip to the next turn right here. Year uh, 130, uh, 135, year 267. Uh, we're getting close to the year 300, boys. We uh, have nothing going on, but we are getting more and more points, diplomacy points, uh, diplomacy points uh, every turn, which is uh, very good for us. Let's get that guy over here. Let's uh, skip to the next turn. Now we're going to be able to colonize again. There we go. So 74%. We're going into the north now. I'm going to colonize this right here. So uh, Chihuahua boys, none other than the city itself of Chihuahua. Interesting. Uh, we are going to get the, uh, another workshop, library, armory, supply camps. Oh, hold on. Didn't get everything. Supply camps right here. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Skip the turn again. We are going to get 75%. I don't care anymore. You know what? Investments can suck. Investments can suck it. I don't care. I'm just going to go for the 80% of technology right here because uh, this at this point is just not enough for me. Uh, so we just got to keep a move on right here. So diplomacy points just like that is um, now we're going to get uh, a lot more points easily. So let's get 80% uh, of that every time. We are going to get... Uh, do I want to move on this uh, unit right here? Oh, what is going on? Okay, no. There we go. I can move on this unit from Chihuahua. Get him in the west, I guess. Uh, we're going to expand on the south now. Uh, there's not a lot I can do. I think uh, the best course of option is just take um, Guatemala City right here. 
We're going to take that and um, expand from there. We'll take these territories afterwards, close these guys by, and then we're going to be able to declare a war to them or assimilate them or something like that, boys, along these lines. Let's get the ports and everything everything that we need uh, right here. Uh, fantastic. All right, let's keep it move, uh, moving, boys. 80% as always right here. And uh, next up, oh, we already have... Okay, yeah, we can uh, start expanding quite, a, uh, quite fast, boys. Yeah, we're starting to expand uh, faster and faster now by uh, every turn. I guess that's that's really good for us if we can start doing that and stuff. I still can't like do farms though in here. I think it's just not good territories in here. It's just desert tiles everywhere, which is uh, not good for me, man. I, I need to be able to do stuff. All right, 80% right here. And uh, we still got, uh, we got a new technology point. We're at 5 out of 25 for income taxation. Uh, really good. And we are in year uh, 100, uh, or turn 140. So we can take a look at the world. We are expanding so fast, boys, as you can see. In uh, almost like 200 years, uh, almost the 200 years, we got all of this. We went from two little regions over here, or over here, to all of this. So we're doing fantastic over here. A true empire, that's for sure. And uh, over here, I guess, as you can see, the Gascony, yeah. Rome is getting destroyed uh, officially now. Yeah, I don't think they're going to come back from this. Uh, I, they're getting pushed out of Iberia by Gascony. And um, they're kind of struggling right here to keep to keep the north against the Alamanni and the Marconi. So I'm not entirely sure right here. The Marconi are at war with the Romans as well. Yeah. So everybody's at war with the Romans. Oh, Drisia even started to land on uh, Rome uh, or Italy itself. That's unbelievable. Oh, Drisia is really strong. They only have the Romans to care about, right? To focus uh, about. So they don't have to focus on anybody else. That means they, they did declare peace with the uh, with Dacians, which they don't need to worry about them anymore. That's That's a really good thing for them. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. Oh, uh, we've got something. Oh, Armenia. Look at that. Armenia is currently starting to grow strong a little bit. It's at war with uh, Arania. I think it probably broke out of Arania, I'm pretty sure. So that's uh, interesting. We've got these two big empires probably going to go at it eventually. Uh, if uh, if anything, if you if history tells us anything, it's definitely you're going to go after him, uh, each other. These guys are still at war with each other. Uh, the the only two big time uh, the big time war in Asia and uh, yeah Mongolia is winning. We got the Imishish right uh, or uh, Himishi, which are basically going to be the ones it looks like to uh, to win the entire thing or to have uh, to become the Japanese. I'm not sure um, when that's going to happen, but the Japanese should appear soon probably, or the sh at least the Shogunate right or something like that. That's probably going to happen. Uh, let's keep uh, let's keep a move on boys. We're gonna um, Continue to move on for the next turn right here. So uh, we uh, got some uh, Expanding to do we already expanded in the north quite a bit We are gonna go here and this one is gonna go right here. There we go And uh, so we, now we got to go uh, to the south. So we're gonna do uh, Cobain We're gonna get that uh, territory right here get the farms and everything it looks like the self is a lot more fertile, a lot more fun to have than the actual uh, north. The north is not really a fun territory to colonize right now, boys. I'm not, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, aside from the fact that the north is not giving me anything right now. I can't get farms or anything, anything interesting at all. So uh, that's definitely something to keep an eye on right here. Uh, we've got uh, colonization still. There we go. Let's get uh, that. We're going to... Uh, Get the last remaining army over here. Got to get uh, uh, special armies right here. Libraries, armories, and supply camps. Just like that. And uh, yeah, we can keep skipping really quick. We've got... Um, uh, we're going to get to 80% right here. Uh, next turn, again, because I can't, I can't do anything just yet. There we go, just like that. 80%. Uh, we've got... Oh, I'm going to uh, send that guy over here. There we go. And uh, we do have uh, some territories, bonuses, territories. It still looks like someone managed to get out of there just in time. There's still these three regions, though, we got to take care of. So we're going to take that uh, region right here uh, real quick. We're going to um, send that guy over there. He's not bordering anybody anymore. 
And over here, we are going to give you all of the farms and everything. So the library, armory, and supply camps as well. There we go, just like uh, that. And um, let's keep it moving unless I got something I got to do. Because I, I was trying to, uh, last video, I was trying to go with the uh, Iroquois, right? Trying to go with them and maybe offer an alliance. It's going in there. Yeah, it's definitely going in there. They're they're moving. Uh, they're, they're actually growing a little bit. I think I might just start ignoring them altogether. I think I might just... Uh, I don't know, not make any allies. I think I might just ignore that altogether now because it doesn't seem like the Iroquois are ever going to be able to do anything, really, right? So, uh, I don't know. We'll see uh, We'll see how it goes, I guess. Uh, next turn right here. There we go. Next turn, 80% again for the technology. Oh, non-aggression pack expired with the Iroquois. Um, I guess I could renew it. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do it or not. We expanded right there the next uh, last time, right? So now we're going to expand. Yeah, we're going to expand right here. Uh, just like that. We're going to get uh, Mogakes or something. I, I, I think that's what it's called. Get that CD right here, boys. Uh, all right. So next turn right here. We have a new technology point. Uh, hold on just a minute. We're going to get uh, that really quick. Okay. So technology point. What do we spend it? We're already at 10 for these two. I think research is very important to get as much research as possible. But then again, population, all this good stuff, right? It's always good to have a lot of population. Economy growth as well. Shit, I can move that to the uh, max right here. Okay. I, I could try and move that to the max. Oh, I could do that as well. Yeah. I c you know what? I, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Don't, I don't know why I didn't think about that. I could have done that easily. I think I, I've got all the technologies though. Uh, now, so I think I'm maxed out. Uh, if I had known I could have done that from the beginning, I would have done it, boys. All right, so investments. Let's keep the investments going on. Average development. So that's the development. Oh, that's the technology? The amount of technology I get? Or the amount of... What gives me, basically, what gives me diplomacy points right here? I, I'm not sure. None of those are actually giving me diplomacy points. I'm not sure how how it works exactly it says right here enemies uh it, it does count as that base value rank and technology uh, interesting I, i'm not sure how it all works exactly boys we'll figure it out what about this right here oh, okay so it did went back to what it was i guess military upkeep would be a good thing right just not having to worry too much about the military upkeep all the time would be very uh, very great indeed uh we did expand on the north last time uh, let me see real quick. That sold uh, that army. I don't need it any, uh, there, so I'm just send it to the ports. Uh, nothing else really going on. Uh, this army doesn't border anybody anymore, so let's get it over there. And uh, this one does bo uh, border somebody uh, still, so we're gonna uh, just expand right here, colonize this place right here. There we go. Now they're these guys. They can't move anywhere unless they've got. They don't have any ports, so they can't go into uh, Cuba or anything. It's, that's not gonna happen. So, they're they're definitely stuck in here now. Uh, that's for good. All right. So, uh, yeah. Let's keep skipping. I'm gonna skip until your uh, turn to 150, boys. We've got uh, nothing else going on. We can expand on the north right here. So, definitely gonna do that. I think. Um, do I want to get uh, these two? I don't know if I want to get these two just yet. If I want to do like the. Um, uh, Mexicans in our prime and just get all of this in Texas and everything. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to end up colonizing. Yeah, colonizing Savannah right here. Uh, Houston, right? We're going to get uh, Houston right here. I think that's the best course of option. Try and get um, the, sh the shores and stuff, the ports. I think that's the, really the best course of option right here. So get supply camps and everything. That's really good. And uh, that's pretty much that. We're going to do the 80%. And next turn, we're going to be able to stop it right there. So um, we don't have enough points to do anything. But it is uh, turn 150. Let's take a look at the world. Ourselves, we are dominating the American uh, sphere, of course. Uh, sphere of influence. We have the Gascony completely took out Rome out of the picture for Iberia. Even Rome is getting pushed back now by the... Um, by the Moors, so I think the Moors are not at war with the Romans. Interesting. 
Okay, no, so Gascon is still at war with them. What is the Morse like a puppet or something? I have military access. They have military access with the Romans. That's about it. They're not, they're not at war with anybody. Okay. So I don't know what happened there. How did they get more territories from the Romans? I'm not sure. That's quite interesting. What, who are the Romans at war with? All right, the entirety of this, basically. So you can see the Romans are basically going to be left in Africa undefended right here. Uh, they're going to lose. They're really, like, their retrusions are right by uh, Rome right here. They're going to take probably Rome in the next turn. Uh, that's uh, crazy. So Rome is really going to fall uh, altogether. Italy, does not much left uh, to it. Uh, I think it's pretty much over. I think Aldrigia might become the new Roman Empire. It's like the Byzantine Empire for sure. And nef nothing else going on over here. It's basically same old, same old. Kind of a little bit of a stalemate right here. I wonder when the war is going to end uh, between these two. I really, truly wonder. Mahan, uh, what about, like, where are the wars right here? What's uh, going on between the wars? Can I look at it? I can't really take a look at it, right? I can't really uh, see which wars are going on or something like that. Um, maybe I can uh, I can see his war. Uh, there we go. Now I can see. So how many casualties between this war, boys? 10.5k for each. Oh, they both lost over 10.5k people, boys. Holy shit, that's a lot of people, uh, dead people right here in this war. That's a big time war. That is the devastating war for both of them. You gotta wonder at this point, how many provinces? They've, they still got less provinces than the Han Empire somehow. The Han Empire had so many provinces, it's unbelievable. But look at that. Yeah, they're definitely winning. That shit is crazy. Damn, and when is the war going to be over though? Where are war weariness? I, I mean, they're, they're not we're, uh, even have any war weariness as well. That's crazy. All right, let's take a look at the entire like place right here. We are now at fourth, the fourth biggest empire in the entire world, boys. Um, we passed the Han Empire. The Han is crumbling apart, of course. Han Dynasty is falling apart. The Girja, I'm not sure who they are, but they're moving in there. Still got a Rome right here, but it's falling apart. Uh, and the uh, Adrigia is gonna pass it in no time. It's uh, now a hundred. Uh, we've got the Xiongnu, uh, which is the Mongolians, is the strongest empire in the entire world, the biggest one. Now that is something, isn't it? That is truly something. One hell of a of an accomplishment right here. So. I'm going to leave it for today. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.